Things are really tough. I don't think I'll be able to pay my school fees this year. And I was thinking... Hey, hold on a second, man. I have a phone call. <laughs> Hello? What? Really? Yeah, that sounds like fun. Huh. Hello, okay, I'll be there. Yeah, my cousin is coming from Dubai. They're having a barbecue on the beach. Sabrina and Zoya are going to be there. There's one is bringing an 18 year old scotch. It should be fun, man. It'll be amazing. You should come. No, I don't feel like it. Why? What's the matter? Didn't you listen to me? I have to drop out of medical school. Okay, it's fine. Did you read this piece? Which one? It's the one that says, New operation being planned in tribal area. No, I missed it. What did it say? It reads, the government is planning a comprehensive operation in the tribal areas. The results of the previous operation were successful. More than 30 extremists were captured, and more than 20 were killed. It is believed that this new operation will strengthen government control over these areas. It is estimated that roughly 250,000 people from the area will be asked to relocate. <laughs> This government is crazy. They don't realize that they're making the lives of people hell. You remember the last operation? More than 140,000 people were displaced from their homes. And because of that, students missed an entire year of school. You know, I read that Pakistan has the largest number of internally displaced people in the world. You must have seen on TV how people are stuffed into camps, treated like animals, no food. No water? Exactly. You know what? First, you displace them. Then you humiliate them. And then you expect cooperation from them. They shell entire areas in the hopes of getting their cooperation. They destroy everything these people have worked for. Their homes, their schools, their mosques, their hospitals. Yeah. And you know, they've promised to pay back rehabilitation to these people. It'll never happen. Did you hear what they were talking about? Yeah, I heard them. I never thought about that. Don't believe them. If it wasn't for these operations, there would be suicide bombs every day. It's already getting so bad. If anything, the government should increase the amount of operations to cover the entire tribal belt. These terrorists spreading extremism inside and outside our country. I read in the news that a few weeks back, these people took shelter in a mosque and used it as a bunker. A mosque cell. If these people are taking shelters in places like mosques, schools, and homes, what choice do we have but to destroy them? They're not humans, they're animals. We should be thankful that the government is taking such care of this mess. And you know what? Someone has to pay the price. Are you even listening to me? Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. Someone has to pay the price. We want peace. Someone has to pay the price. But who gets to decide that price? And what did my father do? He wasn't on this side or that side. He didn't wish death to America, and he didn't drop bombs on innocent villages. So what did he do? And they all want justice. Where's the justice? And they all want peace that they took from me. And they took it from my mother, who's now a widow, and she cannot sleep at night. And they took peace from my sister, who's an orphan and will grow up without a father. And someone has to pay the price. There's kids that are just like me and they grew up to become terrorists. And so they too pay the price. And there's no, they pay the price of life. My father, he's gone. There's no religious ideology that will bring him back to me. There's no political party that can make amends for what happened. He's gone. And he too had to pay the price. I guess, I guess he's at peace now, but he paid the ultimate price. So how long? How long do we have to keep paying this price? How long will this go on for? How long will this go on for?